The selfish gene hypothesis asserts that you are a puppet and that your genes are the puppet master. Everything you are, all of your behaviors, your idiosyncrasies, are all being controlled by the selfish gene. Even, say, for example, your desire to express yourself through song and dance, poetry and art. That might seem like something very ingrained in who you are, almost a spiritual essence of you. But in fact, it is a tool of expression to help others of the opposite sex to find you attractive. That increases the probability of you reproducing, and so therefore is only a string being tugged on by the gene puppet masters. So, if your puppet masters, the genes, are selfish, does that mean that you are selfish? Well, I think that that might not necessarily be true. And the reason why is because there are just too many strings now. You have been evolving for a very long time, and there have been many versions of you through evolutionary history. Some of those strings that the puppet master used to pull are still here. Yet when they pull on them, um, nothing really happens. They are vestigial, meaning leftovers from a history. They were behaviors that may have been selfish at one point, but no longer serve the gene, yet they are still there. And the reason is we've sort of stopped evolving after medicine and, and crops were made by humans. Natural selection no longer really acted on us the same way that it did on other organisms. And so we have leftover behaviors and leftover tendencies from a previous time. Um, and, and I think this will become more clear of an idea when we talk about altruism in our next lecture, which is the tendency to do kind things for others. Although the puppet master is pulling our strings, I think we are at a point where there are just too many strings for it to make sense of. So, in other words, no, I don't think that people are inherently selfish. I just think that most of our behaviors are controlled by conscious and subconscious selfish tendencies.